Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Main Event, and I have a match for you guys today. It's basically going to be a generational classic as the Brian Kendrick face, faces off against Jake the Snake Roberts. Some of you who don't know, Jake the Snake Roberts is in fact a former intercontinental champion throughout many versions of EBCW over the years, even before I actually even started calling Universe Mode EBCW. But this man right here is another fantastic wrestler. Highly respected. I don't know what the fuck I was trying to say there with the ooh, ooh like I couldn't even find the words, but highly respected in the world of professional wrestling, the Brian Kendrick on the 205 Live brand, which I personally love 205 Live. I don't fully understand the hate it gets. I think um, for a lot of the times, the 205 roster has been shafted, not by their own doing. Well, sometimes by their own doing, depending on the, the actual superstar, because if you look at the talent from before it actually even started, well, not before, but if you look at the talent from when 205 Live started to now, this that roster has probably had the most shakeups in terms of roster because they lost really big guys. Like um, they lost a lot of good wrestlers. They lost uh, Rich Swan due to some domestic issue. They lost TJP a couple months after I think a couple about a year after. They lost Neville, who was, at the time, their biggest fucking star. Uh, Mustafa Ali, C uh, Cedric Alexander, they got moved up to Raw and SmackDown. Lucha House Party, uh, Lince Dorado, Grand Metalik, and uh, Kalisto. They lost a lot... Uh, who else did they have? Uh, God, I can't even remember. They just, they've lost so much talent for whatever reason... And yet, to me, I still think they present one of the better wrestling shows on in WWE. So that's kind of why I chose Brian Kendrick, because Brian Kendrick is really fucking good. And I think the brand that he's on really gets shafted for no apparent reason. Like, people will say, oh, why is 205 Live a thing? Blah, blah, blah. Like, go watch... Uh, go watch 205 Live. Like, it's honestly not that bad. I mean, yeah, it's... I think at times it gets a little bit stale because of the roster and however many matchups they can create. For a period of time, 205 Live was downright unwatchable because, basically because, super kick there by Brian Kendrick, 205 Live was basically unwatchable when Enzo Amore was champion. When Enzo Amore was champion for the two and a half, three months he was, he was there on the brand, it was borderline unwatchable. Busted open now, Jake Stink Roberts. That was quick. <laughs> but yeah, it was really bad. Like, that period of time was really bad for 205 Live. But they then they started, you know, making some changes that... Oh, Buddy Murphy was another guy I was also thinking of. You know, Buddy Murphy had a great run on 205 Live. Easily had some of the best matchups. Tazawa. Akira Tozawa, I don't know what the fuck they took him off there for. Like, honestly, 205 Live could have had the best fucking show if they just kept wrestlers on said show, because I won't lie, as much as I like the roster now, I'm kind of sick of seeing the same matches over and over and over again. Because it's like every week, you're, gonna, you're guaranteed to see a segment with uh, the Bollywood Boys, or, aka the Singh Brothers. You're guaranteed to see a match with Arya Davari. As much as I love Arya Davari, I love his gimmick and shit. I and I think he's a fantastic wrestler. Like he's on the show basically every week, whether it's a squash match or an actual match. And you know, I think that's WWE's fault for constantly shafting the roster the way they have been doing. Uh. Like, I haven't been watching it the last couple of weeks. I usually binge watch the show when I get the opportunity to. And, uh, you know, sometimes I'm like 10 weeks behind. So it's like, oh shit, I gotta watch this 10 weeks of 205 Live. But either way, like right now I'm about five or six weeks behind. 
and I haven't been I've been keeping some tabs on it here and there. I'm really glad Mike Canellis is back. Back body drop there by Jake the Snake. Uh, I think Mike Canellis is a fantastic wrestler, or I should say Mike Bennett, because that's his actual fucking name. Don't know why they made him take his wife's name. But yeah. Big ups to Mike Bennett, though. I really like the guy. I think he's a great wrestler. I've been a fan of his since his Ring of Honor days. And I think he was a great asset to 205 Live before he kind of stepped away for a period of time. How the fuck did Jake the Snake Roberts get two fucking finishers? I don't recall ever giving... I don't recall him having like a, a finisher super or whatever the fuck it's called. Now I have a finisher. I don't even remember touching anything. <laughs> what the fuck happened just now? Well, I guess I might as well make do with it, right? Oh shit, get the fuck out of the way, referee. What the fuck are you doing? I'm not using the captain's hook. I I, I think the captain's hook, aka the bully choke, is fucking... It should be called the, bull, the, the bully choke. Oh, come the fuck on, game. I hate this fucking game and its Irish whips at times. I don't understand it. Like, honestly. I literally, if you're gonna throw it, if you're throwing the Irish whip without actually moving your thing, it should actually throw him into the corner. I was, my back was to the corner, his ang he was angled to the corner, and yet it's throwing him on the outside of the fucking ring for whatever reason. And now I just got fucking DDT'd for no fucking reason, because for whatever, he has two fucking finishers somehow. Whatever. Oh shit. Okay, that was close. Way too close for comfort, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck is he thinking? Boy, you ain't you ain't going to the top rope. You ain't a fucking cruiserweight. And it doesn't even give me the option to reverse. Go fuck yourself, game. This game's this, this game is fucking poorly made. If you haven't seen my video on why I'll never buy another WWE 2K game, Please go watch that, because this, right now, this game is a perfect, uh, example. Why am I fucking throwing him to the goddamn ropes? I'm trying to throw him to the corner to do the fucking sliced bread. Like, what is wrong with this game? There we go. Holy fucking shit. And now the fucking referee is down. Does, is it even gonna fucking register the fact that I'm trying to throw him into the goddamn corner? What, what the fuck is going on here? So I guess the sliced bread isn't actually a fucking finisher of Brian Kendrick's? So I did all that for nothing? This game fucking sucks. <laughs> this game's fucking terrible. What is this shit? Maybe I could try again? Are you kidding me? The slice bread number two is a signature? That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. One, two, three. I don't fucking understand how the slice bread number two is a, is a signature. I, I really don't. It's, it's a literal finisher. He's used it as his finisher before. I don't get it. <laughs> this game fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, that just goes to show though. <sighs> It's bad. Anyway, Brian Kendrick wins. If you don't watch 205 Live, watch 205 Live. Easily one of the better wrestling shows on the WWE Network besides NXT. Even though NXT isn't considered a wrestling show for the network anymore, it's, you know, they throw it on USA and then put it on the network. It is what it is. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, I don't agree. The point, the point I'm trying to make is I don't agree with anything that happened in this match, and that was a load of bullshit. Anyway, guys, I got a main event for you got that you are going to enjoy. Holy shit, two and a, four and a half store. I almost got a five-star match out of that. Thanks a lot, Dave Meltzer. <laughs> anyway, I'll see, you guys, I'll see you guys on the main event. Buddy Murphy will be in action against Heath Slater. 
See you guys then.